Hi, my name is Joel Jimenez, and I've been playing drums about 20 years. I would describe my playing style as punk, probably. You know, no matter what I do, it's sort of filtered through that. I think even if I'm playing hip hop or something else, I taught myself. The first songs I think I ever played was Ramon's KKK Took My Baby Away. I think about it a lot because um, if I would have gotten like a Neil Peart record or something like that, I don't think I'd still be playing drums because I'd listen to it and be like, I can't fucking do that. The Ludwig thing happened, uh, feels like serendipitously. Uh, a few of my friends were at NAMM walking around and got chased down by one of their reps and he gave Jeremiah his card and said, hey, uh, I already cleared it with my boss to give Joel a kid, have him call me. It's been cool, man. Um, they're very, very kind to me and uh, it was pretty sentimental like hearing stuff like welcome to the family and things like that. And the specific kit that they sent me was great because I was driving to the comedy store every Monday and it was like so Questlove made the breakbeats kit to be able to just like break down and throw in a trunk. I think punk and everything that comes with that influences my stand-up as far as like the energy and how I want to be on stage when I'm truly free is like more wild. There's a lot of like white comics now they get on stage and like I know I look white but I'm actually 30% Indian. <laughs> And like brown and black people, we can't do that shit, right? Cops pull us over, we're like, officer, I know I look black. <laughs> but I'm actually 30% white. <laughs> and the cop's like, well, 70% of you is coming with me. Uh, my favorite character on Kill Tony was probably Jolena, I think, because um, I grew up around a lot of like women like that. I kind of, I knew the ins and outs of that personality. The characters I would do that fell flat, I realized it's because they didn't really have a point of view. So understanding Jolena's point of view, I thought really made me feel more comfortable in the character where like, I didn't feel like I had to think of jokes. I just knew how she would react to certain things. You know her as a, uh, a recent- A bad bitch, fool, say it already, <laughs> eh? Since leaving Kill Tony, I mean, it's interesting. I, I, I don't think I really left as much as like the show evolved and I kind of found myself at a moment where I was like, I didn't really see myself leaving to Austin. People forget the show changed a shitload before I was a part of it. Like they had the Iron Patriot, they had Pat come in and they had the band. And then now what they're doing in Austin, like that show is just like, it is a circular evolution. It's like a steamroller. They're gonna do whatever they're doing. So, but it's been good, man. I, just being a part of, it's even weird to say part of the store, but I do feel like I am a small part of that community and um, staying here has sort of led me to a bunch of other things, you know, playing at Roast Battle and I don't know, my creative group is here and uh, I got to meet a lot of people that I'm still working with, so I'm really, really grateful. The older I get, the more I want a happy, peaceful, healthy life, so I'm trying to figure out where maybe before when I was younger I'd be willing to, to, to really kill myself physically and mentally to get the things I want. Where now I'm trying to work smarter, not harder, and not break myself down over it. So I think I would like to be in the moment more and, and, and uh, I want to smell the roses a little more and you know get up, have my fucking coffee and let the sun hit my face I think and uh, hopefully everything will uh, come with that. Thank <laughs> you.